iPhone XS Mac, iPhone SE, so Galaxy J4 Plus, the Oppo A3s, and new Oppo S9, Vivo Y71, the Samsung Galaxy J8, Samsung Galaxy J6 Plus. Na it is the smallest cell phone in the world, the Vivo V11. Na be the Vivo V11i. Na be the Samsung Galaxy A7, Realme C1, Huawei Y9. 2019 iPhone 10R in color red, the Poco Phone F1 by Xiaomi, Transmart Element T6 wireless speaker. Hey guys, it's Megan Mary and welcome back to my channel. Ayun guys, itong video na to is a very special video kasi i-upload ko to on the 31st of December bago mag January 1 kasi parang ano ba, parang tribute or parang pinaka Thank you video ko to sa inyo since nakita niyo naman yung intro eh and dami na nating napagdaanan. Although bago pa lang ako sa tech world guys, alam ko na I have a lot to learn pa. But at least 'di ba, I did my best na tulungan kayo when it comes to buying new phones and yun naman talaga yung pinaka purpose noon for me to help you guys kung ano ba yung magandang bilhin if ever man na may bagong labas or kung ano nga ba yung ideal phone for students, budget phone, flagship phones, mid-range phones, kung worth it ba siya or not. Kasi guys, bihira lang kasi ako makakita ng YouTubers na nababa especially na and then Tagalog din and then in layman's term din yung mga, yung mga terms niya, bihira lang ako makakita nun and I, I really am looking for those kind of YouTubers and wala ko masyadong makita. Which is why I did this. And not really dahil kailangan nyo, but also I really enjoy doing it. So, nakatulong na ako sa inyo and masaya pa ako sa ginagawa ko. So, ayan guys. And ano nga ba itong video natin guys? As you guys seen from the title, I will be parang showing you my first impression sa mga upcoming phones sa year 2019. By the way guys, disclaimer lang, I'm not saying na ito talaga yung lalabas. Some of these are just um, ano ba, theories or gawa-gawa lang din ng fans. So, hindi kasi natin masabi guys if ayun talaga yung idea na yon or yun talaga yung phone na lalabas. But, um, ayun na nga, kaya nga natin ito gagawin para makita ko yung reaction niya din and my reaction kung kung pasok ba siya or masyado ba siyang too good to be true, mga ganong bagay. Grabe guys, ang bilis ng panahon. 2019 na, ang dami ko sinasabi, pero alam niyo yung guys, hindi lang ako makapaniwala na parang in a span of 2 to 3 months, ginawa ko tong lahat ng unboxing. Can you believe that? Na parang ang dami ko na palang na-unbox. So, ito na guys, ito na yung pinaka-point ng video na to guys. We will be expecting daw the Pocophone F2. I'm not sure if mag-release talaga ng Pocophone F2 sa year 2019, but I'm hoping kasi Poco, Poco Phone F1 is one of the best talaga, ba? And then we have the iPhone 11. I'm not sure kung iPhone 11 talaga yung tawag nila. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Siyempre, meron tayo niya next year. And then we also have the Samsung Galaxy S10. Actually, some of this hindi pa sigurado. So, ang sure lang ako talaga is the iPhone Galaxy Note 10 and then the Galaxy S10. So, yun lang yung mga sigurado talaga ako. So, i-flash ko dito guys yung video habang nanonood ako. So, isi-screen record ko yan and then sabay-sabay tayong mag-react. First guys is the iPhone 11 trailer 2019 latest leaks and news. So, let us now play it. Okay. Bakit transparent? Wow! May in-display fingerprint ang iPhone. So, yung volume niya guys, di ano ha. Ano yung charger? Okay, so wireless charger siya. In a sense na parang Bluetooth or NFC. I'm not sure kung anong tawag dito pero... You can charge your phone kahit na malayo. Mukhang USB Type-C na rin yung kanyang charging port kasi medyo malaki yung kanyang butas sa ilalim. Three 
bezel less. Capacitive. Parang intuitive touch na rin siya, guys. Truly wireless. We have three available sizes. Okay, guys. So, that video pala is from Inventions TV. And I must say na parang feeling ko. The phone is too good to be true. Parang ang laki nung agwat. Kasi from iPhone XS Max. Parang yung technology, guys, ha, parang masyadong um, ang dami niyang in-skip na dapat naman eh hindi pa. Masyadong pinood and to one. Kasi parang feeling ko, guys, sa next after nitong iPhone 11 na sinasabi nga nila na parang fan-made lang. Kasi to guys, what more pa yung i-improve the next years kung lahat eh ilalagay mo na sa, doon sa iPhone 11, ba? But, I must say na ang tanging na-approve lang ang tanging approve lang sa akin doon sa video na napanood ko is the in-display fingerprint. I feel like it's gonna be a trend this coming year. The in-display fingerprint. Pero guys, I feel like it's not for Apple. Parang feeling ko, it's more of the Android side. More of a Samsung. Next, guys, is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So, the video that I will be playing is from Tech Configurations na YouTube channel. And the title is Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Introduction Concept Design, the iPhone XS Killer. So, let us watch it. By the way, guys, pasensya na umuulan. I did my best to wait para mawala yung ulan. Pero kanina pa ako nag-aantay, mga beshi. Pero, hindi naman ako pwedeng hanggang mamaya mag-aantay. Eh, wala tayong magagawa. So, please bear with me with that. Twelve megapixels secondary camera. Wow. Wow, pop-up camera. The triple primary camera. Six point five inch AMOLED infinity display. And display fingerprint. IP68 water and dust resistant. Oh, that's a really nice pen. Wow, Snapdragon A65 with 4,000 milliampere battery. Okay, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Medyo mas realistic yung um, concept design nitong ay, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 compared sa kanina. Kasi this one, medyo na-invent na yung mga ganitong features sa ibang phone this year. Like, yung pop-up camera, nagawa na rin yun, guys. We have the triple camera, nagawa na rin yun, guys. Parang pinagsama-sama na lang siya to make it into a better phone. Actually, better phone na nga siya individually, pero parang pinagsama-sama ng great features into one phone, which is good. Next, guys, is we have the Xiaomi Pocophone F2, and it is the most innovative phone in 2019, according to him. So, ang kanyang YouTube channel po is Science and Knowledge. So, let us watch. Front glass, plastic body. So, plastic pa rin yung likod niya, guys. Super AMOLED touch screen. 6.39. Five cameras. Eight gig of RAM and ten gig of RAM. Wow. In display fingerprint, guys, na sa gitna. Okay. Expect 
ticket price four fifty US dollars. So that's roughly between twenty three thousand to twenty five thousand for the Pocophone F two. And I must say, kung yun man yung price niya, guys, is hindi na masama because the Pocophone F one, guys. If you guys remember, nag unboxing tayo n'on. Kung hindi nyo para pamanood, please do watch it. Magkalapit yung price kasi it is around 18 to 20,000. And lastly guys is we have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Acul, Acul? <laughs> Acul Future Lick from Tech Talk TV na YouTube channel guys. So, as long as I'm around, you're second best. You might as well learn to live with it. <laughs> nice one, Samsung. Yeah. The chin yung sigal is compared to the Acul. What's up guys, Sal here. So, the Galaxy S10 rumors have dominated the Android-related news cycle over the past few months, with each day bringing fans new details about the Samsung's upcoming flagship piece. And today is no different. We have a leak that compares the bezels of the Galaxy S10 Plus against the best devices that rival companies have to offer, which is the iPhone XS Max and Huawei's Mate 20 Pro. And as you can see, the 10 on the S10 Plus is going to be very thin. It's at the same size as of the iPhone XS Max and even slimmer than the Mate 20 Pro. The side bezels, meanwhile, will be thinner than the XS Max because the screen has curved edges. Since the Galaxy S10 won't come with a notch, it will for sure have a record screen-to-body ratio, which is going to be way higher than the iPhone XS Max and Huawei's Mate 20 Pro and any other smartphone featuring a notch design. So it looks like the front-facing camera on the Galaxy S10 is surrounded by a ring of LEDs that glows wow. when the camera is turned on or when it recognizes the face. This feature is also available in the Galaxy A8s that recently got launched. It's a very cool feature that has many applications. For example, That's so it launches cool, the guys. camera app whenever you slide your finger over it. It's very cool, but you'll also have to wipe your camera lens every time you do that, though. Yeah. Also, this LED ring could replace the classic LED notification light when we have notification to read. Finally, this function can also be used to display the battery percentage of the phone. This is not confirmed, though. It's just okay, guys. So that Samsung Galaxy S10 leak is definitely a must to it, because parang feeling ko, guys, yung camera niya lalo na yung front yung circle na nakita niyo na umiikot out of this plan para feeling ko never ko na imagine na magkakaroon ng ganong classing feature ang isang phone and that's so epic and yes guys yun ang phone na worth paying for ba pero guys like lang yun hindi yun sigurado okay guys by the way lahat po ng sinabi kong phones are just leaks and concept designs hindi po sigurado lahat ng yun and I did include naman their YouTube channel so baka ma-demonetize tayo dito or, or what pero ayun na nga and sa nakikita ko guys ha this upcoming year, parang feeling ko mawawala na yung notch. So, say goodbye to notch. That's my, um, yun yun na for first si ko sa future. So, giging trend na rin guys ang triple and quadruple camera. Parang feeling ko paganda ng paganda yung camera. Hindi na uso ang dual camera. Last year, last last year, ay na uso yung but this coming year, definitely mas padame na padame ang camera. And then, definitely guys, feeling ko magiging trend na rin ang end display fingerprint. So, last year na uso ang fingerprint sa, sa likod. So, feeling ko ngayon guys, this upcoming 2019 end display fingerprint is gonna be a trend. So, that's it guys. Yun lang yung aking verdict sa mga upcoming phones na lalabas this upcoming 2019. I'm not saying na lahat po ng pinakita kong videos ay ganun talaga. So, those are just concept designs. And I know we all are excited sa upcoming 2019. Definitely maraming phones ang lalabas. So I hope guys, you all will stick around to me until the very end. So maraming salamat guys. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. And bye everyone. See you next year.